Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello and welcome to the second video on creating a multiplayer FPS in Unity. Today we finish what we started in the last video, which is creating the character controls for our player. So if you haven't watched that yet, I recommend you do so by clicking the screen now. And if you have, well, enjoy! So now we can jump over to a player motor and actually make this happen. So if we look over here, uh, we are going to have a uh, private vector3 called velocity. And we're going to just default this to vector3.0. You can just leave this. That's what it's going to default to anyways. And we're also going to have some kind of private reference to our rigid body. So rigid body, and we'll just call this RB. Then in our start method, just as before, uh, just as we did with the player motor, we can say RB equals get component and of type rigid body. And again, we are uh, requiring the component up here, so that's completely legit. And uh, then here we can make some kind of uh, method for setting our velocity variable. Because what basically what we want to do is we want to have this player controller control this variable. And then we want to have a fixed update loop here that uses this variable to move the player. So the uh, kind of method that we want to uh, control this variable is simply going to be called move and it takes in a vector 3 velocity and I'm using underscore velocity here and this is why it's important because we want to uh, differentiate between this velocity and this velocity and then we simply say that we want velocity to be equal to the velocity passed in. So this here uh, takes or uh, gets a movement vector and uh, then we want to have some kind of fixed update loop void fixed update run every physics iteration so this runs on a fixed time and uh, basically we want in here to perform our movement so we want to call some kind of uh, method that will actually do this movement so uh, let's create that now. So perform movement based on velocity variable. And we'll just make this a private method. So void perform movement. And uh, this is going to check if velocity is not equal to vector 3.0. So if we actually want to move, well, then we want to set, uh, or then we want to say that uh, we can call a method called move position on our rigid body. And this is a super useful method. Uh, this takes in the position that we want to move to. And uh, this is different from uh, transform.translate uh, because this will actually stop the rigid body from moving there if uh, it collides with something on the way. So this does all of the physics checks and uh, the collision checks and all that, um, but is uh, much easier to control than the add force method. So in here we want to pass in our current position. Uh, so we could either say transform.position or uh, rigidbody.position. Uh, that's going to be completely the same. And then we want to add on to that our velocity multiplied with time dot fixed delta time and we'll just close that off so this will actually this will uh, move our rigid body our player to the position of our player plus the velocity vector so um, that actually performs the movement and that's all we have to uh, do in order to get uh, this working. So let's go ahead and, and try this out now and we should be able to move in the game. So let's hit play. And you can see that we are indeed now moving. We can jump and we can look around, but that's uh, a start, of course. Okay, so next up, we want to have some kind of uh, uh, rotation. So in our player controller, we want to now calculate 
calculate rotation as a 3D vector. And we do this by first getting some input. So our y rotation is going to be equal to input dot get axis raw. And this is very similar to what we were doing up here. And uh, the input that we want to get is called mouse x and you want to of course spell this completely as i've done here remember the space remember the capital m and x and again that's something set up in the uh, unity input uh, section and uh, then we want to create a uh, vector here which is going to store our rotation and it's going to be equal to a new vector uh, and it's going to be zero comma y rotation comma zero and we'll multiply this by some kind of sensitivity variable so we just like we have the speed up here we also want some kind of look speed or uh, mouse sensitivity or uh, whatever you want to call this I'm going to make this a private float called um, look sensitivity and we'll just uh, default that to oh I don't know <laughs> three Cool. So we'll simply multiply that down here, look times uh, look sensitivity. So you will notice here that I'm only using our uh, Y rotation, which will be when we move our mouse to uh, left or to uh, the right side. And that means our uh, X value from the mouse. So that's kind of weird when you think about it. But when we move our mouse on the X, we want to rotate around the Y. And uh, I'm only doing this here because the uh, Y rotation is the only thing we want, affect, want to affect our player. The, uh, the rotation around the X axis, meaning tilting up and down, well, that's something we want to only affect our camera because we don't want the entire sphere to rate, uh, rotate up and down. That would uh, mess up our movement. So when doing this, know that this is just for turning so calculate rotation as a 3d vector and we could just say um, this uh, applies or let's just do this turning around that's what we're doing here and uh, then we want to apply this so we want to apply camera rotation oh not camera rotation, we want to reply rotation. I was thinking about the camera now. And uh, we simply do motor, oops, motor dot rotate. And this is another method that we're going to be creating. So, and we then pass in the rotation vector there. And uh, let's go ahead and create that in the character motor now, or the player motor. And in here, uh, we then want to go up and uh, make a variable. And we call this a, or we make this a private vector three, again called rotation, and we'll default it to vector three dot zero. And then we want to make some kind of uh, a method that will change this. So that's the rotate method, and we'll take in a rotation, and we'll simply set rotation equal to underscore rotation and this gets a rotation null vector there and then in the fixed update we want to actually perform the rotation and uh, we do this by creating a new method of course so we want to perform rotation void perform rotation this doesn't take in any arguments, just like our perform movement method. And we simply want to say rb.move rotation. And whenever it comes to rotation, there is some there are some weird stuff, basically. Uh, because rotations in Unity uh, goes through what is called uh, the, a quaternion system, if you will. So quaternions are basically uh, just like vector threes, but with an imaginary component. And what this means, you know, I will leave to a mathematician to explain, because quaternions are quite difficult to understand. But we, of course, have some really cool functions in Unity that 
um, takes care of all of this weird calculation stuff for us. So just like when we are uh, moving, uh, moving our player, we want to get our rotation. Just like here we get our position and we add on the velocity. Well here we get our rotation and then we add on or we multiply that with quaternion. This is what I'm talking about, quaternion dot Euler. And Euler angles are the angles that we know. That's the x, y, and z rotation. That's it takes in a simple vector three. So in here we can simply input our rotation. So rb dot rotation is a quaternion, and quaternion dot Euler will take in our vector three and make it into a quaternion. So that makes sure that we don't have to understand what's going on. We can simply do this calculation. And that's really awesome. So let's simply save that now. Head into Unity here, and we should be able to uh, look around on the x-axis or around the y-axis. So now we can actually walk around, but we can't really aim. So let's uh, let's make the tilting of the camera. Let's go back in here, find our player controller, and add another segment. So this one is going to be uh, calculating camera rotation. So I'm just going to uh, duplicate this entire section and we'll just call this calculate camera rotation uh, as a uh, 3d uh, vector and this is not going to be y rod but instead be uh, whoops it's going to be x rod and it's going to equal get access raw of miles y now and this is not going to be called rotation but camera rotation And uh, it's not going to uh, rotate around the Y, but instead rotate around the X. And then we apply it by uh, using another function, which is going to be called rotate camera. And we're going to input our camera rotation instead of the rotation there. So apply camera rotation. So this is again around the X axis. And then we jump into the player motor and you are of course starting to notice a pattern here so we then create a private camera oh, private vector 3 camera rotation equals vector 3 dot zero we jump uh, we jump down here and creates create a method for gets a rotation of the vector for the camera rotate camera and it's going to take in a rotation or you could call this a camera rotation and it's simply going to set camera rotation equal to underscore camera rotation just like we've done with all of the other methods and uh, then down here when we perform the rotation we can do this in the same function call uh, we of course want to apply this to the camera so we need a reference to our camera and uh, even better, we can make this reference optional. So if we don't have a camera uh, that uh, we want to be controlled, we can make a game that only uh, kind of uh, moves around the Y uh, or rotates around the Y. Lots of games have a fixed tilt, if you will, and uh, only allows you to turn. So let's just make this optional. First off, we want to create this reference. And again, I want to use a serialized field. Uh, private camera and we'll just name this cam. You won't be able to name this camera because uh, that's a method or that's a, a member that uh, is included in mono behavior. So um, we have the cam and uh, then down here we can simply check uh, if cam is not equal to null meaning we've put in a camera well then we want to say that cam dot transform dot rotate so here we don't need to do any rigid body calculation we can simply rotate uh, using the transform dot rotate method and uh, how do we want to rotate we want to rotate using camera rotation and uh, this might be in the wrong direction so we'll check this now I am oops of course we need to put in the camera here player and you can see we didn't get an error here, just nothing happened really. So that makes it optional. Uh, so we want to drag in our camera and now hit play. 
and now I'm moving up and I'm moving down. So you can see that's inwards. So the only thing we need to do to fix this is simply put a small minus there. That will uh, make this uh, the uh, opposite vector. So that will inverse it. And now we can look around uh, just like we want to. So that feels uh, pretty nice actually. And you can of course adjust both your movement speed. Ooh, this is fast. And your look sensitivity uh, even while the game is running. Cool. Uh, so that's the very base of our um, movement. And I think I'm going to leave the tutorial here. Then we'll create all of the uh, spring uh, functionality and the flying stuff in a later video, just so this won't get crazy long. So this was already a really long tutorial and I've probably also have to split it up into two parts. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it and that you were able to follow along. If you have any great suggestions for where this series might go and what you want to see in this course, well then of course leave them uh, down below or uh, on the uh, Bracky's forum. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.